Yeah, it's quite a mess here. I've come downstairs to see the firefighting activity here. There's another truck down at the end of the street. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, it looks as though it was in the physical therapy office. That's right about uh, where the secretary sits with the computer. I've had physical therapy there a number of times over the years. Now they're going into the um, place that does sonograms and mammograms and uh, x-rays, where I've also been many times. This is my building. You can't see my apartment from here because uh, I'm just right above the roof there where I've made a couple of clips already. Oh, that's really a shame. I'm glad I didn't come down before because, uh, was really uh, dramatic with the uh, sparks and everything. Also, I wasn't dressed. See, they're knocking out the ceiling. French firefighting equipment. <laughs> Looks as though they got here very quickly. I've seen some pretty dramatic fires here over the years. Up in the high rises. Actually they're um quite well equipped to deal with them, but they're really scary, of course. There's the house uh, and the construction site behind our apartment. Looks like they're starting to renovate the interior of the house. Very strange because I haven't seen any construction permits there which are normally posted. So it, it may be clandestine, but it's not much of a secret. I don't know what the deal is with that. I think he's looking for uh, signs of obvious damage on the roof.
firefighter just gave me a look, kind of smiled at me. And here comes the guy back out of the uh, x-ray office. You know, firefighters do not earn very much here. I was really surprised when I found out what the average pay is. It's, uh, you know, it's some. I heard somewhere around a thousand euros a month. My spouse has a co-worker who was uh, an ambulance worker. You know, one of these emergency guys, and he just couldn't keep doing it on that money. Oh man, the guy almost slipped and fell. But pay always sounds uh, very low to me as an American. Not always, frequently. All right, I'm going to go back in. Yeah, they've uh, got the street blocked off down there. Very good. Good job. What a drag, what a mess. Ugh. Probably going to cost us money. Uh, there are neither co-ops nor condos in France. It's a different system. So um, when something goes wrong, uh, basically everyone pays. If if a neighbor is very wasteful with water, basically everyone pays. If somebody's a deadbeat, everyone pays. You know, it's uh, communal. On the other hand, what, when you own your apartment, for example, you can you can rent it out and possibly use it for professional purposes. Although that usually is limited to like the first two stories of the building. We had some doctors down here a while ago and had to ask them to leave because um, there was just always this line in the hallway and. The elevators were always breaking, and it was a mess to clean up. People hanging out in the hallways smoking, and actually, I think uh, at least one of the doctors there was a script poker. So uh, they just moved down the street. They're still here, but I know my dentist used to be in this building, and he retired, and it's not a medical office anymore. But whatever. All right. See you later doesn't look like anybody was hurt. <laughs>